Tim is fighting Jesse Vargas, who's trained by Roy Jones. And Tim represents a threat not only to Jesse, but also to Roy Jones, because as you know, Tim has become a commentator <laughs> for the True Network. Right? <laughs> so Tim's record, 31 wins, uh, one defeat, one draw. Uh, he has been around for a long time, always given 150% in the ring. One thing about Timothy, nobody could ever accuse him for lack of trying, for not getting in there like a true warrior. Anybody who saw his fight with Provodnikov uh, understood from that fight what guts means, what it means for a fighter to have intestinal fortitude, which Tim showed that night. So please welcome the former world champion, looking again to become the champion, uh, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Thanks, Bob, for those kind words. Um, first of all, I want to give a all honor and praise to God for allowing me to be here today, stand before everybody. I want to thank everybody that came out today to this press conference. Of course, I want to thank my team, Team Bradley. I want to thank my, my team outside, uh, my wife. Um, I want to thank you so much for just being there supporting me and uh, dealing with my mess and how crazy I am. <laughs> As a fighter, man, it's no joke. Um, I want to thank my brother, my brother-in-law, Chris, for uh, you know taking time out of his life to help me out on my journey. Um, wow, yeah, back again. I, I can't wait to get back in the ring. Um, I want to thank HBO for bringing me back once again, man. I'm telling you, the Premier Network, HBO can't get any better than this. Um, did I miss anybody? Stuff up. I want to thank the Stuff Up for bringing me back. 2013 new fight of the year. I think this fight might be the candidate for fight of the year. I'm already calling it right now. Um, a lot of a lot of you out there, you know, see this fight on paper, and you guys are like, oh, you know. It's an easy fight for you, Bradley. And I'm like, y'all crazy. <laughs> what you mean, easy fight for Bradley? This fight is not easy whatsoever. Every fight is a threat, especially a young fighter that's talented like Jesse Vargas. It's like, hey, I'm, I, I'm nervous because this is a kid, undefeated, world champion. And I was once one defeated, undefeated, and a world champion. And I had an opportunity of a lifetime to change my life drastically, you know, in one night. And I did that. So Jesse Vargas, he's looking to, to do the same thing. So I know I'm training hard. I'm training extremely hard. I'm training like if I'm training fighting, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao or, or Marquez, I'm training just as hard, if not harder. And uh, I've gone back to my roots and what, I, what got me to this position. So I'm doing a lot of the training techniques that I used to do that I didn't do before, you know, that I stopped doing once I got on top. So I'm trying to get back on top. This is my opportunity. Um, you know, I just found out this morning, Bob just told me just now that I'm gonna be fighting for the WBO World Championships. So I have an opportunity to get my belt back. And I set out, I said that I was gonna get my belt back and I will get it back on June 27th. You know, I know I got a tough task ahead of me, but I'm preparing myself 150% for this, for this matchup against Jesse Vargas. But, uh, you know, I wanna invite everybody to come on out. You know, I, I call stuff of the war ground. Because every time there's a fight there, there's always a war. And um, I think this fight's going to be a war. So uh, I want to thank Roy and, uh, you know, this team up here, man, Jesse Vargas. Um, you know, I've been a fan of Roy since, Roy since I was start boxing. So it, it's, it's, it sucks and it's sad for me <laughs> to be going up against, like, a, a fighter that I admire. I, I'm serious. I admire Roy, man. And, and um you know, I, I wanted to be like him as a kid, you know, I wanted to fight like him as, as I was a kid. So, you know, he was, he was one of my idols. So, you know, it, it sucks that he's on the other side, but it is what it is. Like he said, it's, it's business, no hard feelings, and it's all love at the end of the day. So thank everybody for coming out. 
And uh, stay tuned, June 27th. Don't, don't miss it. Thank you.